Hi, welcome to Physics Teacher, the channel that prepares you for the Waterloo Math and Science Contest. This is a grade 12 physics Sir Isaac Newton contest question. And in this question, we have Kim and Bob of equal mass sit at opposite sides of a sled, which is massless, that is five meters long. They are going to slide down a frictionless half circle hill starting from rest at this position as shown. We need to find the speed of Kim when the sled is perfectly horizontal. Give it a try and I'll be right back with the solution. So what we're going to do is we're going to connect the center of the circle to each end of the sled, like so. Now let's call this R for the radius. This will also be the radius. And since the radius is five meters, the length of the sled is also the radius. So this is an equilateral triangle, which means we know that this is going to be 60 degrees. Now when the sled becomes perfectly horizontal down here, we know that this angle will also be 60 degrees, but we can split it right down in half so that we know that this angle here is 30 degrees. And here we have a right angle triangle. Now you can keep going up to the other end if you like. Um, it's frictionless, so they'll make it all the way up there, and that'll be your other 60 degrees to make a total of 180 degrees. All right, so what happens is Kim is going to fall from this top of the hill, this position, all the way down to this position. So Kim has a certain change in height. She loses gravitational potential energy. Bob, however, moves from this position to this position. That's the exact same height. So Bob doesn't lose nor gain any potential energy. So if we were to look at this as a conservation of energy problem, let's have the total energy at this initial point equal the total energy when they're horizontal. Let's call that ET prime. Now I'm going to choose right here to be our height of zero. So that means initially Kim has a height of, and we can solve this triangle here, where we know this length is five meters or R. And we know this is 30 degrees. So we can simply call this side to be R cos 30. That means Kim's initial gravitational potential energy is mg r cos 30. And that's going to equal, now Bob's gravitational potential energy at both points will be zero since that's where we've chosen our height to be zero. But Bob will have gained kinetic energy, as will Kim have. In fact, since they're on the same sled, they'll be going the same speed. So we're going to have a certain amount of kinetic energy for Kim plus a certain amount of kinetic energy for Bob. Now their masses are the same. So you can see A is not correct because there's a mass in every term they can cancel. And here we have a half V squared plus a half V squared. So that's just V squared. So V squared equals GR cos 30. Or solving for V, V will be the square root of GR cos 30, where G is 9.8 meters per second squared. R is 5 meters times the cos of 30 degrees. And we can calculate that speed to be 6.51 meters per second. Our answer is C.